I, w- I you've given me f- some some little gifty poos here for my son who's here. Yes. <laughs> and we need to break down uh, my gifty poos. Okay. <laughs> and the the very cool project that you have just c- it's just come out just become available. Um, the book that just came out is called The Awfulizer: Learning to Overcome the Shame Game. Let's and spell that real quick for people. Off. Awfulizer. Awfulizer. A W. A W F. Now I don't know. U L. U L. I Z E R. It's yeah. when you stop and think that yeah. it all goes all away. Yeah. Um, so the Awfulizer: Learning to Overcome the Shame Game is a children's book that introduces kids to the idea of shame and teaches them some techniques to overcome it in their lives and help parents to talk to their kids about shame and how to talk to them and work them through those struggles. I had been going to therapy for two years for shame in my personal journey through that. And I had noticed that our oldest son was having a lot of shame talk that I very quickly recognized because it's my constant inner monologue. And so I went to the counselor to ask if there was anything that they had about shame that I could use with my son because while I'm in therapy for it, I didn't consider myself an expert. (laughs) And she couldn't think of anything off the top of her head. And so she said, let me research it and I'll get back to you. And I said, okay. And she came back to me and she's like, well, there's not really anything for kids that deal with shame specifically, Mm. but there's this, this, and this. And that was all good, but it wasn't what I was really looking for. So I decided to write a kid's book about some of the tools that have helped me. So in the book, there's a little boy named James who has a shaming moment, and that's when he gets introduced to the awfulizer. And as he continues to listen to the awfulizer, he gets bigger and bigger and bigger till eventually that's all James can see is the awfulizer or his shame. And one night his parents come to him and want to talk to him because they can see that something's not right with him. And when James finally has enough courage and enough trust in his parents to talk about how he's feeling, that makes the awfulizer shrink and disappear. Mm. So, that's right. Yeah, that's a perfect description. 